Tell me, what would be most useful for you to discuss today regarding the personal statement? Um, just the overall, because I know sometimes with like personal statements, I've done like some research and seen different people give different types of advice for, for like what to focus on. And I try not to focus too much on like at my the adversity per se. And I wanted to keep it, this is how I'll be an asset to law school. So um, I think what would be most useful for me today would just like overall, I don't know if you got a chance to actually like read it, but like, is it flowing or is it choppy like you know did you get lost is it like all over the place that's kind of what i'm trying to avoid so yeah no i I did i did read it and i enjoyed it a lot i thought it was quite an interesting journey that you've had here going from the u.s to france and facing facing racism there and making changes about athletics versus law and so i think that it flows well i like the topics that you're covering i think they're very compelling couple of things that stand out. One is the length, of course. Obviously, we have to cut it down, which is fine. It's a fine position to be in with a rough draft. It's a great position where we have more material than we need, so we can chop it down to keep what really matters, to keep that essence in there. Right. Now, there are different angles on this, different directions you can take it. And so my first thought was, could you divide this into two different statements, one being your primary personal statement, the other one being the diversity statement? You know, I thought about that and I was like, I just didn't want to be like repetitive in the things that I was saying because I'm like, okay, my diversity statement, I know should focus on like, I guess like what kind of makes me who I am type of thing or like, I don't know what I could take out of that personal statement to keep it like a personal statement and what I can put into the diversity statement and that kind of thing. Because I actually chopped the paper down like already before we had this. So I'm like, I don't even know what to, you know, what direction I should take either of them in. Sure. Well, a couple of ideas come to mind. One would be that you use the diversity statement to focus on starting with the experience in France with the athletic coach saying, why can't you run faster? You're from the islands, whatever they were saying. So you you start with that as your hook for the diversity statement as a jumping off point to discuss the unique attributes you bring to a law school campus if you want to focus on your background. Then for the primary, for the primary personal statement, you could focus more directly on the athletics and what your journey has been like there. And then ultimately deciding not to go the athletic route, but instead become an advocate. So with the um, with the diversity statement and kind of focusing on like my experience with the coach in France, so I, I don't focus on the basketball, just kind of throw that out there and then focus on my like background as as whole or like talk about France and that whole experience or what you... Well, I think that ultimately both of these statements should focus on you specifically and different angles yeah. on your experience. So I think... For the diversity statement, it could be you're talking about how you were perceived by this coach, the assumptions the coach was making about you in the derogatory way they were speaking to you. And you can use that to talk about your experience being from the islands in a variety of contexts and what your perspective, what perspective you have to bring as a result of that. Then for the personal statement, you could focus more directly on the athletics and what you've learned from that experience in general. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just taking a few notes. Yeah, of course. No, but I think you have a tremendous amount of great material here. I just want to channel it in different directions for different statements because there's so much to share here. I wouldn't want you to try to cram all of it just into the personal statement. And I think that there's a certain, some of these topics naturally lend themselves to a diversity statement as well. So why not use it in that spot? Right. And so I didn't know that you um, you offered the personal statement um, to help with that. I, I actually didn't know. So I'm actually going to have to do, what, what, are, what is that like? Like, is it just the editing or um, is it the whole admissions process? Or how, do, how does that work? Like, what, what exactly do you offer with that? I offer both. So I have different options for different levels of help. One level would be to focus just on one revision of a personal statement. The other would be more comprehensively dealing with the personal statement start to finish, brainstorming to final draft. And then I can also help with other aspects of the application as well, like 
the resume, like letters of recommendation, multiple essays if you're doing a personal statement, diversity statement, why our school specifically, dealing with character and fitness or other optional essays and addenda. So I can cover every aspect of the application if that's what you need. I have a page on my website where I detail those different options and I can send that over to you if you'd like. Please, yes, please, because the course was awesome and I'm going to do my review. I just want to wait to get my scores back so I can give like a, a whole roundabout and be able to post my scores. Awesome, fantastic. Well, I've, I'm glad I've been able to help. What would you say is your biggest insight from our conversation today? Um, just refocusing my, my, my personal statement and kind of taking some of the information that I have that can actually fit into the diversity statement because that's what I was like a little bit like confused about so I'm like could this or could this not and then so now hearing you say that I'm like okay now I know where to focus my energy right now like chopping my essay down and then putting some of that into my diversity statement and not having my personal statement be so long so thank you for that <laughs> my pleasure I'm, I'm glad I was able to help well I'll send over the page with more information on the admissions coaching and we'll be in touch please reach out if you need anything at all thank you Steve thanks for tuning into the show Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.